I'm just floored by the fact that there's so many, so few black artists featured on it. Why is that? I think that we're trying to move in that direction. We want to play artists that seem to be doing music that fits into what we want to play for MTV. There's th the company is thinking in terms of narrow casting. That's evident. Um, it's evident in the fact that the only few black artists that one does see are on about 2.30 in the morning or, on, or to around 6. Very few are featured predominant, no. predominantly during the day. No. That, uh, that's a I'll say that over the last couple of weeks these things have been changing, but it, it's, no, uh, it's a I, slow process. I know. It's, it's funny. I think people have different perceptions. When you wind up watching, let's say you watch an hour or two or even three a day, People somehow come away with different ideas about what we are doing. We don't have any kind of day parting for anything, mm. let alone a black artist day parted out of what, what would be, quote, prime time. Mm. We don't have that. Because one sees a lot on the... On the there's a, one black station on uh, television that I keep picking up. I'm not sure which station it's on. But there's a, there seem to be a lot of black artists making very good videos that I'm surprised aren't used on MTV. Well, of course, also we have to try and do what we think not only New York and Los Angeles will appreciate, but also uh, Poughkeepsie or Midwest, pick some town in the Midwest that will be scared to death by Prince, which we're playing, or a string of other black faces. That's and black very music. interesting. Isn't that interesting? You know, we have, to, uh, we have to play the music that we think an entire country is going to like, and certainly we're a rock and roll station now. The question would be asked, well, should, uh, since we're in New York, should PLJ play, uh, you know, uh, the Isley Brothers? Well, you and I might say, yeah, because we have grown up in an era when the Isley Brothers mean something to me, and so do the Spinners, even way after the Isley Brothers. But what does it mean to a 17-year-old? Well, if you talk on the phones to these guys like I did when I was in radio, it's Well, scary. I'll tell you what it means. I'll tell you what maybe the Isley Brothers or Marvin Gaye means to a black 17-year-old. Ah. And surely he's part of America as well. No as question. Me. Okay, can somebody... Oh, my God, is that my ass? <laughs> is... <laughs> Who invited her? I know you don't like me, I know you're a hater Always in my, I don't, I don't, yeah I don't really need that, I know you're a hater You don't really like me, yeah Always in my business, go and get some money I don't, I don't Really need that. I know you're a hater. I know you don't like me. Yeah. Go and get some money. Always in my business. I don't really need that. 